Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And it's really early in the morning. Well, at least it is for my family. They're not even up yet. But I am, and I'm going to go on and try to... I'm going to make a, a big breakfast this morning. I'm going to fix some fried apples and some um, pork chops and then some eggs and um, biscuits. But the one thing I'm going to show y'all how to fix this morning is fried apples. And I've already cut up. I hope you can see that. Yeah. I've already cut up and sliced my apples. Peeled them, cored them, and um, cut them up into slices. And I've got my New Way Precision Induction Cooktop here. And I'm going to put one stick... I'm going to go on and start it on sear. And I'm going to put one stick of margarine. You can use butter if you'd like. I just use margarine because I don't like butter. And then I'm going to put in just, I don't know, just because I don't want to use our butter. I mean, our margarine. I'm going to um, put in about, that's about a tablespoon of Crisco vegetable oil and I'm going to get this melting this margarine melting in here and then I'm going to go on and put my apples in and get them started while the margarine is melting and this pan's probably going to be full but apples cook down so much that it won't be that much left and my grandchildren have probably never had fried apples before so this, I don't know, they liked my applesauce when I canned my applesauce, so hopefully they'll like my fried apples too. Somebody gave me these, so I don't even know what kind they are. Alright, and I've got them in there. And now I'm going to put a um, about, I've got a cup measuring, a measuring cup here. I'm going to put about, um, three quarters of a cup of sugar in here. bit more. All right, you can see, and I'm just going to pour that all over them. All right, and now I'm just going to let this get a little bit hotter and then I'm going to cut these down and put the top on them and I'm just going to let them cook and when I um when they get done I'll bring you back and well I'll probably bring you back in between then but and let you see as they they're cooking up but now I'm just starting them on a high heat until they get hot and then I'm going to turn them down to like a medium heat and um, let them simmer in here. So I'll bring you back. Okay, I wanted to bring you back and show you that these are cooking up really well. They've been cooking for, I've got them on between medium low and medium. It's 230 on your precision induction cooktop 
they've been cooking for about 20 minutes um which would that would be between medium low and medium on your regular stove and i just want to let y'all know that just because i cook on a new wave i do try to give y'all the temperatures or the settings that you would use on your regular stove if you don't have a new wave induction cooktop if you've got a new wave then it's easy because you can usually see or tell what i'm using but on your stove it may be a little harder but i always do try to tell you what you would cook it on your regular stove so i've got this between medium low and medium and um they're cooking up really well and they look delicious it's gonna be kind of like applesauce when they get done and if this was at dinner time oh my gosh this will be so good with cornbread <laughs> i love cornbread and fried apples so um i'm just gonna keep letting this cook until it's all cooked till they're all cooked down and I'll bring you back when they're done. Okay, I've cut the apples off. They're all done now. And I'm going to start on the pork chops. So, i am got to get it, that stuff ready. And I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm back. So, now I'm getting ready to fix my pork chops on my New Wave oven. And I've never done this before, so I don't know how it's going to work out, but we're going to hope that it works out okay. I have got, I had assorted pork chops, and they had bones on them. I cut off all the bones and cut them into little pieces. I am going to put some, just some Crisco oil in here, because I can't get to my canola oil, and Crisco will just have to work. And this is the bottom pan. I'm not using the 10 inch pan. I'm just using the bottom pan of my new wave. And it goes, I just washed it. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in here and take a paper towel and wipe it around. Now, my grandma always fixed, um, she called it tenderloin, and <laughs> she would fry it for breakfast on Christmas Day. Well, this kind of, I'm not frying this, I'm going to cook it in my new wave oven, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just light brown sugar, and I'm going to put that I want the pork chops. And like coat the put that do the pork chops in the brown sugar. And see like this. And then I'm gonna put them in the new wave. And they're gonna have that molasses brown sugar taste on them. And these are going to cook slow, so I think that they'll be okay doing it like this. She would, like, marinate hers overnight in brown sugar. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cook these in the brown sugar and hope that they turn out okay. <laughs> We're going to hope. Because we're still going to have the, the fried apples. And if I wanted to... a little bit more. Put some sugar in here. And I knew it. Way too much of them out. Oh, well. It's down on the pork chops now. There's nothing I can do about it. Alright. Um, so, I'm just going to coat these in the brown sugar and put them in the pan you can see just like that and put them in the pan here and when I get the get ready to cook start cooking them I'll bring you back okay I'm back and um, 
what I'm doing right now is I've got it, all the pork chops are in here. You can see it's totally full. It's kind of like right now marinating in the brown sugar. But to offset all that sugar, I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Just sprinkle some salt all around them. Because pork does need salt too. And of course, pepper. I love pepper. So I'm going to sprinkle pepper on them too. And now, this is my New Wave Oven Pro Plus. This is the new one. This is the newest one. And I'm going to put the top on here. And I have to plug it in. Because I can't use my... <laughs> both of my New Waves at the same time. Which really makes me mad. Because it blows a fuse in this house. Alright, and let me show you what I'm going to do. I don't know if you can see. Let me take this off and show you. Alright, let me get this right here. Alright, and you can see this is the New Wave Live Well for Less. It's the New Wave Oven Pro Plus. And... What I'm going to do is I don't have the tray in here. I don't have anything in there but the pork chops on the bottom pan. And I'm going to go cook time. Um, I'm going to start out with an hour 60. And then press start. And that's all I have to do for the next hour. And the heat comes from under this dome. And it it's convect convection. It's um it's three different types of heat, infrared, but it cir circulates all the way through the new wave. So I'm gonna try this for an hour and then I'll check the temperature on it or whatever and I'll bring you back then and let you know whether it needs to cook longer, whether I need to turn them over, what I need to do. Because, like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this. And um, so I'm wanting, I'm wanting them to cook low and slow because my kids aren't even up yet. So I'll bring you back in a little while. Okay, this has been cooking for 45 minutes. And I'm going to pause it. And turn it over. I remember always to turn the lid away from you when you open it. Your new wave oven. Move the cord down here. You can see it's got a good little glaze on it. I'm gonna move it, move them around. these over in the center, the ones that aren't cooking as good, and put the ones in the center on the side, they're not done yet, but they're getting a good glaze on them, browning up really good, okay, so I'm going to go on and turn these over, and then I'm going to reset the timer for another 30 minutes, because I think that after that 30 minutes, well, I think I might go on and, I'm going to go on and turn these, and then I'm going to check the temperature of them, and I'll bring you right back when I get that done. Okay, I've got a little thermometer here and it says pork is 170 is well done I don't know if you can see that or not but it says 170 is well done so I'm going to check the temperature on these and I'm just going to put it down in there down in the middle and see what it says what it goes up to and I 
I know y'all probably can't see that my hands are in the way. It's only going up to about 1.30, so I'm going to cook these for another 30 minutes and get these browned on this side, and I'll... Okay, this just quit, so I'm going to put the lid down somewhere. <laughs> Let me get my plate out. Come here. They look so good. Right, let me check the temperature. I'm sure they're done. But just to make sure. been off for a few minutes so they might have lost some of the heat. Then again it might not be <laughs> these might not be thick enough to get a temperature on them. It's up to 140 now. Alright, let me try another one. Let's see. I'll put that one in a thicker part. And it's up to 160. So, they are done. Alright, and what I'm going to do the kids are still asleep, so I'm going to get one out, just a small one. Mm. Let me put the top back on here. Push this back a little bit. Move this over so you can see my plate. And I want to get a little bit of apples. Mm. I'm just tasting this so that y'all can know what it tastes like through me. <laughs> Alright, there's the pork chops or the tenderloin, whatever you can see. It is so tender, I just cut it with my fork. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. 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 Still a little hot. But that brown sugar has soaked through them, and they are amazing. Oh my gosh. All right, let me taste the apples. Mmm. 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 -mm. When the kids get up, and I fix eggs and biscuits for them. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. This is awesome. So I cook the pork chops and the new wave for um sixteen. An hour and fifteen minutes total. Mm. Oh my gosh, they are amazing. And that, oh, these apples. Mm. I have to tell y'all, this is awesome. 
Mm. Look at that. Look at it. Once I get the once I get breakfast finished, I'll take a picture and let you see it. Mm. Mm. This is so good. That new wave, my new wave is just amazing. If you don't have the New Way Oven Pro Plus, you definitely need to get one. Because these are the best pork chops I have ever tasted. Ever. In my life. Mm. And these apples cooked on my New Wave Precision Induction Cooktop. Awesome. Mm. Mm -mm. Alright. I'm going to let you go now. You'll see a picture of these later on when I get everything done. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And you have a wonderful day. Bye.